Hey, hola, ¿qué tal? Right, in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about me. I know, I know, I know, don't worry, don't, don't worry, don't, don't leave, don't leave the video yet. Today, is, it, you, you are going to learn, you're going to learn, honestly, you're going to learn Spanish. But if I talk about me, that will make you able to talk about yourself, you know, in jobs, interviews, with friends, or people that you've just met. So, ready? Bienvenidos. A Spanish with Chris. So we're going to use these words here. These are going to help us a lot in order to take out when we want to talk about ourselves. So the first one, we're going to use the possessive pronoun me. Me. El pronombre posesivo. Possessive pronoun and obviously uh, we will be using the first person singular because we are just going to talk about ourselves so in this case is me and me after me there always has to be a noun or a name okay so bear it in mind you can't avoid it there always has to be one so for example the first thing about me is mi nombre mi nombre es Cristian. Mi nombre es Cristian. But some people know me as Chris. Normally, uh, that's my channel as well. Spanish with Chris. Because, because Spanish with Christian, yes, okay, but I think it's too long. And people like short things. So, Spanish with Chris. But my full name is Christian. Mi número favorito es el 7. Mi red social favorita es Instagram. And remember to follow me there, so you can learn a lot. Mis ojos son marrones. Mi sueño es vivir de enseñaros español. And for that, I need your help. I need you to, to like this video, subscribe, click on the bell. La siguiente. Mi cumpleaños es el 20 de diciembre. Mi cumpleaños es el 20 de diciembre. 7. Mi bebida favorita es... Agua. <laughs> agua. Just simple water. Plain water. Agua. I know I'm a healthy guy. I'm a not. Now, the next part of the video, yes, is we will be using the verb to be in Spanish. El verbo ser. O estar. In this case, we will start with ser. Ser. Soy de Madrid. Soy de Madrid. You know, we're using the conjugation of, you know, the first person singular. Soy de Madrid. Soy español. <laughs> Soy español. Obviously, if I'm from Madrid, I'm Spanish. But just in case. Soy español. Soy Tutor de español. Soy tutor de español. Here comes the eleventh. Soy auxiliar de enfermería. Soy auxiliar de enfermería. I know completely opposite. I've got two jobs. One is to teach Spanish, and the other one is to save lives. Amazing, eh? Soy muy pacifista. Soy miedoso para las montañas rusas. But you can also say, las montañas rusas me dan miedo. But if you want to use the verb to be in Spanish, then you can say, soy miedoso para las montañas rusas. Yeah, that, that me, that's me, that's me, that person shouting is me, yeah. Soy... Dormilón. Soy dormilón. Soy amigable. Soy muy amigable. Soy tímido. I know a lot of people don't, don't believe it, but honestly, if you meet me in real person, if you ever meet me in real person, you will see that I'm actually shy. A little bit shy. Yeah, but in front of the camera, I'm all right. Yeah, now we're going to use the verb to be, but in its negative form. 
no soy bueno con las matemáticas. No soy bueno con las matemáticas. No soy alérgico a nada. No soy alérgico a nada. Right, so as you can see, the verb ser in Spanish, we have used it when talking about nationality, or where, where are we from, or our personality, or qualities about ourselves, or our profession. But now we're going to use the verb estar. The verb estar. Estuve en Nueva York en el 2017. Estuve en Nueva York en el 2017. Estoy cansado de la pandemia. Estoy cansado de la pandemia. Oh. Estoy en Escocia. Estoy en Escocia. So, with the verb estar, we have used it for when talking about places where we have been. Also, when in on states, like for example, if you are in a bad mood, then we will use estar. Estoy de mal humor. Now more things about me, but with the verb, using the verb tener. To have in Spanish, tener. But we have to conjugate it to the first person singular. So, tengo. Tengo peces. Tengo el mal hábito de morderme las uñas. <sighs> Siempre tengo sueño. Siempre tengo sueño. Now, we're gonna use the verb to like, of course, but in Spanish, of course. El verbo gustar, gustar. But when we, so in, in Spanish, when we want to say that something, that we like something, we have to, we have to say it like this, this, me gusta, me gusta. Of course, always when you're talking about the first person singular, okay? In this case, yes, me gusta. And we're here to talk about ourselves, so here we go. We're gonna focus on this structure, me gusta. Me gusta la astronomía. Me gusta la astronomía. Me gusta la PlayStation. Me gusta las películas de Rocky. Me gusta la pizza. Me gusta la pizza. Me gusta el cine. Me gusta el cine. Me gusta cocinar. Me gusta cocinar. Ah. Me gusta el verano. Me gusta el verano. Aunque, aunque, a veces me gusta un poquito el frío. Me gusta mucho la montaña. Mucho. It's not just I like it. It's I like it very much. Me gusta mucho la montaña. No me gusta fregar los platos. No me gusta fregar los platos. So it's easy to form the negative. It's very easy. You just have to put no at the front of the sentence before me gusta. And that's it. No me gusta. But now we're going to use a very similar, very similar verb. This is encanta. Encanta. And this is just similar, similar as me gusta, but with, with more emphasis. Like you really want to mark or you really want to stress that you like something. It's not just you just like it. You love it. It's something that... Wow, it makes you feel amazing. So, for example, here comes the 35 thing about me. Me encanta viajar. Me encanta viajar. Me encanta. So it's very similar. Instead of me gusta, we would say me encanta. Same kind of structure with me in, at the front of, in front of the letter, in front of the word. Gustar o encantar this situation. So, me encanta viajar. Me encanta conducir. Me encantan los perros. Me encantan. They're amazing. Me encanta Star Wars. But in, Sp in Spanish, we would say me encanta Star Wars. Me encanta el fútbol. Me encanta tocar el piano. Although, I don't know how to play it. I wish I could. I wish I knew, but I don't. I can't. I wish. It's one of my dreams, I think. I haven't mentioned that on this list. It's not on the, on the list, I think, but yeah, I would love to play the piano, but I can't. But anyway, me encanta tocar el piano. Me encanta hacer 
deporte. Now we're going to use this word. Nunca. Nunca. So obviously it's never. In English it would be never. So nunca me he roto ningún hueso. Nunca me he roto ningún hueso. Nunca fui un buen estudiante en el colegio. Nunca fui un buen estudiante en el colegio. Estaba más interesado en encontrar novia. <laughs> so, what can I do, you know? Teenagers. Nunca estoy de mal humor. We're using nunca on the verb to be. But in this case, estar on the verb estar. Nunca estoy de mal humor. Now we're going to use this one. Preferir. Preferir. So what, what did you prefer? What I prefer, you're going to know what I prefer. So, preferir. But we need to conjugate it. First person, singular. Prefiero ver YouTube. More kind of Spanish pronunciation, more kind of Spanish accent there. Prefiero ver YouTube antes que la televisión. And that something is happening to a lot of people. Prefiero Instagram antes que Facebook. Prefiero Instagram antes que Facebook. Prefiero una cena romántica antes que una fiesta salvaje. The last three. We're going to use the verb odiar. Very strong word. Hopefully no one hates anyone or something. But it's okay to hate something. But it's not that great to hate someone. But, you know, maybe there's a reason. Odio no poder dormir ocho horas. Odio no poder dormir ocho horas. ¿Qué ocho horas? Diez horas. That's what I need. I need ten hours. Eight hours. That's nothing. But I normally sleep four or five. 49, 49, almost the Odio las arañas. Odio las arañas. I hate them. I hate them. It's just... And the last thing, the 50, the 50th thing about me, la número 50. And the last one. And I know a lot of people will agree with me. I'm sure a lot of people hate this. And if you don't, that'd be amazing. So here it is. Odio despertarme para ir al baño. Odio despertarme para ir al baño. There's nothing worse. You sound asleep, nice and warm in your bed, all cozy. And all of a sudden you wake up, bursting for the toilet. There's nothing worse. Odio despertarme para ir al baño. <laughs> And that's it. Wow, wow. It's not been too bad, has it? I think it's, you know, you've been, you've been able to learn some kind of grammar, some vocabulary, some very interesting verbs. I think this lesson has had everything and now you will be able to speak about yourself a little bit more. Remember, you can always leave your examples in the comment section below and I will be reading them. So, thank you very much. Gracias. Remember, subscribe, suscríbete, dale me gusta, share with someone who's learning Spanish, please, because that will help them. And also, it will help me, after all. <laughs> Follow me, you know, my Instagram account, Facebook account. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Gracias. Hasta la próxima. Ya me conocéis un poquito más, eh? You know about me a little bit more. There you go. Why not? Here we go. Thank you. Gracias. Hasta la próxima. There'll be another video very soon about things about Spanish. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? So thank you very much. Gracias.